ultrasound of a 50 years old female, 500 grand. So I am scanning in the neck region with a 5 megahertz probe. That is what I have with me. I am not a very rich person. Can't afford a Doppler or a multi probe machine. Anyways, now while scanning the thyroid, we always uh, and, uh, <coughs> magnify the image and we see the landmark. Now you see this is the landmark for the uh, right lobe. This is the uh, left lobe of the thyroid. This is the common carotid artery in transfer section. This is the internal tubular vein. And this is the thyroid substance. Uh, we see this is the thyroid and uh, this is the common carotid artery in the medullary vein this is the thyroid gland left in transfer section okay and now i am going to rotate the probe 90 degree so that i can get the uh, thyroid gland in uh, in longitudinal section right thyroid gland now this is the right thyroid gland. Sorry, left. This is the left thyroid gland. I'm sorry. Yes. And uh, in longitudinal section, it measures 4.6 centimeters in length and uh, two point zero centimeters in anterior posterior diameter and this is the longitudinal section of the left lobe of the thyroid gland with this being the common carotid artery in longitudinal section. So now I'm again in transfer section what here you are seeing is the isthmus Isthmus is of normal dimension, normal echogenicity, left to of common carotid artery. And these are, this is the trachea layer shadow, trachea layer shadow. Now I'm going to uh, move towards the uh, right side of the patient and see that the gland is enlarged significantly, may uh, keeping bringing the chem common carotid artery in transfer section, internal jugular vein in transfer section. This is the thyroid gland, the left thyroid gland measuring 52, 5.2 centimeter by 7.1 centimeter and it is significantly in right compared to the right to uh, left lobe which is here here we are with the left lobe this is the left now you can see that the difference between the two <coughs> this is the common carotid artery, internal jugular vein. This is the left thyroid gland in transfer section and this is the right thyroid gland. See that the uh, uh, right, uh, uh, left thyroid gland measures 2.05 into 2.1 centimeters, whereas the right thyroid gland measures uh, 7.1 into 4.6 centimeters, significantly enlarged left to right thyroid lobe. This is the common carotid artery, the landmark for the identification of the thyroid gland, and this is the internal jugular vein. So this is the transfer section. Now in longitudinal section, if keeping you uh, remember that what you saw in uh, left lobe. And with, uh, only with eye interpretation you can easily say that, uh, well, this is an alarm.
this is an enlarged thyroid growth being wrong with urinal friction and this is the common carotid artery. It's landmark in wrong with urinal friction. This is the, now this is the This is the left thyroid lobe in transverse section and this is the right thyroid lobe in transverse section, in longitudinal section. There are no calcifications within this uh, and the right thyroid lobe and rather gives the globular appearance. No calcifications. Equigenicity is uh, normal, only the size of the gland is enlarged, rest everything is normal. So this is a case of enlarged uh, right lobe of the thyroid gland with normal size left lobe. Thank you. <coughs>